Welcome to this episode of Our College of Voices. I'm your host, Kara Monroe. This episode features Dr. Samantha Levy Arnold, Indiana Regional Coordinator for Phi Theta Kappa, and two Ivy Tech Phi Theta Kappa, or as we're going to call it many times in this episode, PTK student leaders. Kevin Oliver, Chapter President for Alpha Rho Sigma at the Bloomington Campus, and Carrie Biddle, the new Indiana Regional President for PTK. Congratulations, Carrie. Phi Theta Kappa is the International Honor Society for two-year colleges. Students involved in PTK focus on the hallmarks of leadership, scholarship, service, and fellowship. Recently, the Indiana Region hosted their annual award celebration, recognizing the work of PTK chapters across the state. And it was a good reminder to me that I hadn't had you all on the podcast before. So I wanted to check in and catch up. So let's meet our three guests. And first up is Dr. Sam Levy-Arnold. And Sam is the Associate Professor of English at Bloomington Campus and is the PTK Regional Coordinator. Hi, Sam. Hi, Kara. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing really well, thanks. Good. Welcome back to the show. You've been on one or two other times. Once, yeah, with SLA. Okay, very good. Welcome. And next up is Carrie Biddle, who is the Indiana Regional President for PTK. Carrie, congratulations on your new role. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. (laughs) We are really happy to have you here. And last but not least is Kevin Oliver, who's the Alpha Rho Sigma Chapter President and Bloomington's Spring 2021 Commencement Speaker. Congratulations, Kevin. Hi, hello, thank you. I'm excited to have all three of you on here. So let's dig into the conversation. So for the people who are listening that might not be familiar, can you all tell us a little bit about PTK and what students can do as PTK members and sort of what the benefits are of being a member of Phi Theta Kappa? Yeah, for sure. I'll just go over kind of the general idea about PTK, and then I'll let the students jump in. But PTK is an international organization, um, and each participating college or campus has a chapter. And there's almost 1,300 active chapters across the nation and in 11 other countries as well. And once a student joins and becomes active with their chapter, they can participate in society programming by creating and submitting projects for awards. They provide service to their community and campus. They can hold leadership positions, uh, engage in residential resume building opportunities, travel opportunities, they earn scholarships, they receive discounts at national companies like Geico. There's just so much that PTK does for its members. Um, And what I love most about it is that it's all about student success. In fact, our members who are students who have completed 12 credit hours of coursework with a 3.5 GPA or better, they have nearly a 92% success rate, whereas non-members with similar GPAs, they're only at about 68%. And that's really because in my experience, PTK really teaches empowerment and just so many doors are open. So so Carrie and, and Kevin, I'd love to hear from you. What are some of the benefits that you just have liked as being members of PTK? We get to do cool projects uh, that involve research and on-site field work and activism. And these projects are super fun to me. Uh, our project this year has been geared around conservation efforts and attracting birds to campus. And so that has brought us outside on campus on several occasions, looking at the trees and looking at the birds that are there and just enjoying the weather. And that that comes to mind immediately when I think about what kind of fun that I have with PTK. But in general, uh, it's a great way to connect with other high achieving students. For me, I think that the personal connection is a big thing. I am a an older student who has previously been to college but did not graduate. And um, when I went to a four-year college, I felt like I had a lot of personal connection. And I was a little bit afraid that I was going to miss that going to Ivy Tech. And being part of PDK makes it so that I'm not really missing that aspect. I get to connect to other students in other classes and of different age ranges. And it just, it allows me to kind of get to know them better and to get a better feel for what's going on on campus. And just, it's a lot of fun. We do a lot of fun stuff. (laughs) Excellent. Speaking of fun and the the projects that you do, I know there are a ton of projects that our PTK chapters engage in. Sam, I'm going to start with you. Can you tell us a little bit about what the college project and the Honors in Action project are and what activities or projects do you engage in and how are you serving? I know Kevin already talked about the bird attraction project, but what other things are are going on to serve the campus and the community? 
Yeah, for sure. So PTK has a lot of lingo and super robust programming, most notably the Honors in Action, which I'll call HIA because uh, we love our acronyms <laughs> and College Project. And the purpose of the college project is to strengthen the chapter's relationship with uh, uh, campus administration by serving as a resource to them. And the project should really be decided upon together. Um, it's, a, it's a real world way for the chapter to support the campus. I'll tell you about our project, or I'll let Carrie tell you about our project in a second. And then HIA is just a remarkable program designed to engage students um, in really informed action meant to foster student success. And it's basically like a really involved, researched based and informed service learning project. There's academic investigation, there's a service action component, and then there's an impact debrief component at the end. So students will start with this academic investigation by studying what's called an honors program guide that's published by Phi Theta Kappa. And this year's guide was called to the seventh generation, inheritance and legacy. And within that guide, uh, there's seven different themes that chapters can focus on studying more. And then from there, they they will dig into their, their theme, they'll have research questions and research objectives, and they ultimately choose an action component from that. And this year, our chapter, we focused on theme two, natural and constructed environments, which goes to the, the BIRD project that Kevin just talked about. Very good. Carrie, do you want to talk about the college project? Sure. The college project this year, we decided to do, so we actually, early in the year, had met with one of the things about PTKs that sometimes you'll get guest speakers that come in. But we had talked with Sarah Cleveland about sort of enrollment numbers at Ivy Tech and um, student retention, which happens for me to be a very, very important sort of issue within continuing education, especially for non-traditional students. And so when it came to doing our college project, it was suggested that we focus on um, student retention. And so what we did was we came up with the idea that a peer mentoring program may be helpful because, you know, you can have a teacher say, you need to finish this project. You know, college is wonderful. All of those great things. But there's still there's not that peer connection to it. And student to student, you can give different sort of a different viewpoint on, you know, hey, that instructor was a little bit more difficult for me. Um, and this is why, whereas, you know, an advisor can't tell you that, you know, the department's not going to tell you that. And so we thought, hey, if we can get these connections going on between PTK members who are generally higher achieving sort of high academic achievers and students who it doesn't matter. They can have a 4.0 and still be in the mentorship program. But what it does is it just connects students to other students, essentially. And we're currently focusing on to start the program. We've gone through the um, what they call the NSO, the new student orientation. And so we're looking at students who are new to going back to school or going to school. They don't even have to be going back to school. And we're helping them navigate how to start classes, how, where to go in the building once we can go back in the building again, how to submit an assignment, how to contact your instructor. They can be very basic things, but we can also help with more complicated things. It just, to me, it's a, a wonderful program that I think a lot of people will benefit from. And our goal is, one of the wonderful things about PTK is that we're we have put together this program to um, that's kind of may appear short term, but we have long term goals behind it. And so it not only helps the people that we plan to have within the program, but it's helping our own students learn how to plan for long term success. And I love that. I just personally love it. Me too. And I love the sound of this program. We talk about the need to help students connect to other students all the time because you're so right, Carrie. I mean, I can tell you how to navigate, but it doesn't, there are things I just won't tell you. You know, I'm not going to tell you that, oh, that instructor's really hard or anything like that. So such a, such a great program. I love that. I can't wait to see how that, how that keeps going. So Kevin and Carrie, you both got to experience that students are invited to PTA and you have to choose to join. 
And it's it's not a light decision. I mean, there are some expectations um, if you join Phi Theta Kappa. So what led each of you to join PTK? I believe I got an invitation to join after I completed my first semester at Ivy Tech. And I was at that time looking to looking for some kind of club involvement or some kind of uh, extra connection beyond going to class. And uh, I attended the meet and greet event, which was on campus at uh, that time. And it was a very exciting meet and greet. It was very well attended and we had a buffet of food and everyone was chatting with each other. And I immediately connected with the experience of it. It was just a lot of students chatting about PTK type stuff. Like, what are we going to do about this? What do you guys think about that? We're sending out a survey to get information about this thing we're doing and stuff like that. And I was like, this looks like something I, I would be interested in. Very good. Can I say, I remember your first meeting, Kevin. I remember meeting you. You were really tall. <laughs> and then you, you've you been a fixture since, and I'm so thankful that for your involvement because you've really helped grow the chapter. That's been great. Yeah. <laughs> Carrie, what about you? So I had an extremely different experience than Kevin did with PTK. So first off, I should say that um, my PTK invitation came right as COVID hit. And so I um, didn't get to do any sort of on-campus thing. I didn't, I honestly didn't know that PTK existed, but I got an invitation and I thought it was a scam. And so I kind of looked at it, didn't think much of it, went about my time, but I am part of another sort of program at Ivy Tech called I Succeed. It's another retention program that I found to be highly beneficial for me. And one day I just, I brought it up with my success coach and I said, do you know what this is? Because it kind of looks like a scam, but I keep getting an invitation for it. And she was able to tell me all about it and explain that it really wasn't a scam. And that, um, you know, she said, told me some of the benefits from it. And she said, you know, I think you're a great candidate for this. And the opportunities are amazing. And she kept saying, you know, there are so many transfer opportunities. There are so many scholarships. And uh, I kind of still sat there and thought, nah, I don't know how I feel about this. And she stopped and said, you know, at minimum, it, it will look great on your resume. So just go ahead, go for it. If it's not your thing, you, you really don't have to continue to participate, but I'm gonna encourage you to try this. And so at the time, I'm not sure if scholarships are still a thing. Are they a thing? Yeah, we raised um, over $6,000. So when members reach out to me, I always cover the fee. So yeah. When I joined, I applied for a scholarship because there is a fee to join, but I applied for the scholarship and I received it. And so this is where it gets kind of funny because as you heard earlier, I am the new um, regional, so Indiana regional president. And actually when I started PTK, I didn't really do very much. I didn't attend the meetings because everything was over Zoom and I kind of forgot about it. And then I it kind of kept popping back up. I'd get notifications. And I initially felt obligated to attend meetings because I had the scholarship. And then I went to one and was like, okay, I'm here. You know, look at me, guys, I'm here. And then I went to the next one and I kept seeing, you know, I saw faces and I remembered them. And Kevin was really passionate about uh, talking about, you know, what was going on within the chapter. And by about the third week, I thought to myself, man, hey, that PTK meetings at noon. And so it, it became, it went from an obligation for me to uh, something that I actively loved. And so again, you know, I get to see all of these people who are now my friends and I get to give input in and come up with projects that are important to me. And I love it. So that that's my experience. <laughs> and, and talk about, you know, I love that your success coach said it'll look great on your resume and it would have, but wow, what being the regional president for the Indiana region of BTK also now looks like on your resume yes. is. And, you know, it's, 
it's amazing because I get to not only will it look great on my resume, but I really get to make these like sort of I get to give my input on what is truly important to me, what I see a need for in our community. And as an older student, I also get to kind of help give input for younger students. And I love doing that. I love saying, you know, wow, you guys, that's a wonderful idea. Let's roll with it. And watching the their excitement as things progress and either succeed or if they don't, seeing how they kind of tweak it and see, you know, okay, well, maybe that wasn't successful, but we learned a lot from it. So, you know, I get a lot of personal fulfillment from it, which is wonderful, but I've also been lucky enough. Um, you know, I haven't been in PTK very long, but I have seen the scholarship benefits already. So it's amazing. Good. Well, I know you all just had your celebration of the PTK chapters and I'm super bummed I had to miss it. It was like the one weekend in the last two years I've had plans. Um, but tell us about some of the awards that the students and chapters won at the conference. Yeah. So this is the amazing thing for me is that most of, well, all of 2020 for the most part was virtual and many students like Harry have never even experienced PTK in real life, so to speak, so that they were engaged and active and doing these projects. It's just mind blowing. I'm gonna have to put on my chapter advisor hat before I go to the region because I have to brag on my chapter. <laughs> we'll let you do that. It's Thank good. you. <laughs> they received so much recognition that was just, they earned every bit of it. Two, these two extraordinary students we have on the call, Kevin was recognized as Distinguished Chapter Officer, first runner up, and Carrie was named the most distinguished chapter member. Our whole officer team was named most distinguished in the state, as was our Honors and Action Project with the birds. And our college project was first runner up. And then most excitingly, we were named Indiana's most distinguished chapter for the second year in a row, which means, yeah. <laughs> we uh, our combined scores for our HIA and college project write-ups were the highest. Um, I do want to brag on other campuses, though, because we had just I'm just so amazed with everybody. We awarded five uh, $600 scholarships to students from across the state, including Carrie, with the Space Scholarship. Eight students from various campuses were awarded a Sue Jackson Award, which is named after a former regional coordinator. And just to shout out their names real quick. We have Maggie Henderson from Ivy Tech Evansville, Elizabeth Lovett from Muncie, Sean Pendergraf from Terre Haute, Vito Perez from Lafayette, Chloe Prince from Kokomo, Lily Shun from Bloomington, Chase Stewart from South Bend Elkhart, and then Lori Talbot from the Valparaiso campuses. And all the advisors who nominated those students got to present them, which was really, really special and nice, I think, for the students as well. I know I, I teared up a little bit when I did Lily's. And then from there, we recognize different campus projects. So how we did the uh, new student orientation and peer-to-peer -peer mentoring program, other campuses did similar projects. And uh, the first place college project was Ivy Tech Kokomo, uh, which was an amazing project. I actually got to see it. It was developing and publishing the December 2020 Diversity Digest for Ivy Tech Kokomo Service Area. Um, and they did this whole, in conjunction with Student Life, um, diversity newsletter. And it was it was just so fabulous. I think the newspaper picked it up, actually. And they totally deserve that, that recognition. Indy did an automotive for everyone, ladies only automotive class that I wish I could have taken. Lafayette did Project Jumpstart Assistance. Uh, we had Raising Domestic Abuse and Mental Awareness, uh, Mental Health Awareness from Ivy Tech Valparaiso. Um, there, was, there was just so much across the state. These students are just doing amazing, amazing things for their campuses and their communities. Absolutely. And that work lives on too. I think that's one of the greatest things about Phi Theta Kappa is that these projects start with, with one group of, of members and many of them live on for years and years and years. And it's just such an amazing organization. So we've talked a little bit um, as we wrap up here today, we talked a little bit today about the scholarships. And I know PTK is really well known for the scholarships it offers to students. What should people know about scholarships and Phi Theta Kappa? Scholarships are the number one reason students join PTK, and that's rightly so because there are so many of them. There's two types of PTK, PTK scholarships that help students complete their degrees or transfer. There's the PTK Foundation Scholarship. So there's about one million in competitive scholarships students can apply for annually. 
And then there's also the PTK transfer scholarships. And those are, that's where PTK has partnered with nearly 800 uh, four-year universities. And they provide 46 million in scholarships just for PTK members. However, award amount, application, eligibility, that will vary uh, by college. And those scholarships are administered by the four-year university. So for example, just to use Indiana, uh, Indiana State has one of the best PTK scholarships. It's a full ride for two years, but it only goes to 10 members and there's an application process. It's, it's competitive. On the other hand, you have something like uh, someplace like Ball State um, where they just kind of need you to prove that you have been a member and your academic record is strong. And then they award those students $4,500 annually just for being a member. So there's so many perks to the scholarships. We also have the regional scholarship too, which we give it up. And both Kevin and Carrie have won it um, in the last two years, that regional space scholarship. So one of the wonderful things about PTK and scholarships that I think people also don't often think of, I was just telling a fellow classmate this today, that when you join PTK and get involved, you not only have access to the scholarships that PTK gives, you have this like huge just wealth of resources within it. So for example, now that I am in PTK, I have all of these people that when I need like a quality letter of recommendation, I have someone that I can go to and not just someone, I have multiple people I can go to and they are good at what they do. They, you know, fully believe in you. And so there's a level of genuine care within those letters of recommendation that I feel like some students have a hard time getting elsewhere. And also you have this sort of group of people who are um, good at writing essays, who are extremely helpful. So for example, if I have another scholarship that I really am passionate about and really wanna get, I can have Dr. Sam read over it beforehand and give me advice, you know, hey, maybe you should take that out or that's wonderful, expand on that. And I think it's just amazing. It's an amazing resource. Very good, very good. Well, I love Phi Theta Kappa so very much. I Again, I cannot believe that it's taken me this long to have an episode about PTK, but y'all need to come back every year. So Sam, we'll, we'll make sure we get this scheduled every single year to update. As a wrap up to today, we want to encourage students to join Phi Theta Kappa. As you heard from Carrie, it was, you know, she thought it was a scam. And, and Sam, as we were just chatting amongst ourselves, Sam's like, other students think that too. So for faculty and staff, help students understand that PTK is a really great organization and is a good thing for them to join. And faculty and staff, if you are interested in supporting PTK, you can sponsor a student's membership fee. And most campuses would welcome you to also help support the club's activities um, if you have activities on campus. I was a PTK advisor for a couple of years when I was on a campus. So additional information can be found at https colon slash slash indiana dash region dot ptk dot org. And I will, of course, put that in the show notes. Thanks again for joining this episode of our College of Voices. I want to thank the members of today's panel, Dr. Sam Levy-Arnold, Associate Professor of English at Bloomington Campus and the PTK Regional Coordinator, Carrie Biddle, Indiana Regional President for Phi Theta Kappa. Congratulations again, Carrie. And Kevin Oliver, Alpha Rho Sigma Chapter President and Bloomington Spring 2021 Commencement Speaker. I don't think I have Bloomington's commencement, but I am excited to hear about your speech, Kevin. Congratulations to you on that honor. I'm your host, Kara Monroe. You can connect with me on Twitter at KNM Tweets. Our producer is Sarah Ferguson. You can reach us by email at ourcollegeervoices at ivytech.edu. If you are an Ivy Tech faculty or staff member, you can join our Microsoft Teams listener community. I send out instructions on how to join that every Thursday. Our website, where you'll find links to show notes, is ivytech.edu forward slash podcast. Production assistance for this and every episode provided by Becky Campbell and the Ivy Tech Community College Creative Services team. And our podcast concept is by Matthew Pittman. Theme music and post-production services provided by the amazingly talented Jen Eads at the Brassy Broadcast. Broadcasting company, and we will talk to you next time on Our College, Your Voices.